Yeah, Alex, the storm surge that's going to come from the Hurricane Helena as it comes ashore, oh, just south of Tallahassee along the coastline, it's going to be a 15 to maybe 20 foot storm surge in this big bend area of Florida with the southwesterly flow. Look at that purple there. That's up to 20 foot storm surge in that area. And you're going to have these strong category four hurricane force winds. The winds sustained 130 miles an hour gust to 160 blowing straight ashore here. But it's not just that. It's a shallow water coastline, the shallow water extending well offshore up to about 25 miles. And the shallower the water is, the more water that piles up, hence the higher the storm surge. I want to show you this video that shows a shallow water coastline as opposed to a deep water coastline. The shallow water, it's just like a big long slope. The water just climbs up the slope and makes a very strong storm surge. However, if you have a deep water shelf here, you can see that yes, you'll still get a storm surge, but some of it actually has a chance to go tuck underneath it and return back out to sea as opposed to the shallow water coastline that we're expecting to see. Now going back to the graphics here, uh, that southwesterly wind is going to be shoving all that water up into that shallow, shallow water. And it's just like climbing up a long plane there, a uh, long, slow slope up into the Big Bend area of Florida. And hence, that's why we're looking for a storm surge that could be up to 20 feet. Alex will have more on our impacts in our full weather segment in just a few minutes.